LeBron's former teammate was murdered and we actually know who did it. 11 gunshots, that's all the dispatcher heard from the 911 call in July 19, 2010. And Lorenzo Wright's phone call consisted of no words, only gunshots. And after one big mistake, he was found dead nine days later. But first, let's rewind. Lorenzo Wright was a Memphis prodigy. He was the seventh overall pick in 1996, played 13 seasons in the NBA, and was teammates with guys like Paul Gasol, Ty Lue, and LeBron. But while many cases of athletes' murders go unsolved, after several years of investigating, we finally know the answer to who killed them. And it's a shocking story that most NBA fans don't know. It all started on July 2010. Lorenzo left his house the night with drugs and money in his car, and after he called 911, the dispatcher never gave him the phone to call the Memphis police until nine days later. And when they finally tracked the call, they found Lorenzo's body in a meadow with 11 gunshot wounds. But they're already nine days behind the killer. What followed was a seven year investigation. It became one of the most high profile murder cases in Memphis history and looked like another murder that would go unsolved forever. But thanks to a drug cartel, a church, and a fictional novel, the case eventually broke wide open. Let's start with the Mexican drug cartel. Lorenzo made about $55 million from his time in the NBA, and after lavish spending on houses and luxury cars, he was broke by 2008. So to get some quick money, he started selling his cars to a guy named Bobby Cole. Cole was a high-ranking member of the Memphis Drug Organization, which had ties to the Mexican drug cartel. So when the police were looking into two of Cole's cars for another case, they traced them back to Lorenzen. He told the police he sold the cars to Cole, but didn't know the cars were being used for drugs. Cole was later arrested, and some believe that at that point, Cole and the drug cartel had beef with Lorenzen. After all, there were two unknown gunmen who were going into his condo at one point all because Wright needed a little extra money. But let's go to someone who did have money, Lorenzen's ex-wife, Shara Wright, who received $1 million in insurance money after Lorenzen's death. She used the money to take care of their six kids, but used up the entire million in under a year. Why? To get a glimpse into their marriage, you had to look no further than a fictional novel, Mr. Tell Me Anything, a book that Shara wrote five years after the murder. The novel tells a story that seems strangely similar to her own life, and according to her, is 99% true. Mr. Tell Me Anything, the villain in the book is a pro basketball player in Memphis who got caught up partying with women. Shara's character in the story finds him cheating multiple times and says Mr. Tell Me Anything would have been murdered while you arrest anyone based on a fictional book. Shara surely felt trapped in that marriage, at least according to the novel. But here's where it gets interesting. In 2017, the police received an anonymous tip that the murder weapon was at the bottom of the Mississippi Lake. And when they searched the lake, they found a gun, which they traced back named Billy Ray Turner a deacon of the church Shara Wright went to, and Shara was one of his clients in his landscaping company. Some speculated the two had a romantic relationship. We also had a shocking testimony from Shara's cousin, Jimmy Martin. Martin testified that Shara killed herself and turned to kill Lorenzen initially. Turned and Martin, both armed, broke into Lorenzen's condo, but didn't find him there. So the eventual murder Martin testified was both Turner and Shara who chased Lorenzen into a meadow and both shot him down. In 2017, Turner was charged with first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. And in 2019, after pleading guilty to facilitating murder, Sheriff received a 30-year sentence. It may have taken several years and a lot of twists and turns in between, but there is finally justice for Lorenzen Wright. 